before going to further video uh, i'm going to share my uh, membership detail uh, i will provide you a complete video tutorial on dotnet core and uh, it's not on uh, it's not a normal video tutorial it's a project based video tutorial i will give you in just 800 rupees okay so uh, only one time fees that is 800 rupees for indian users and dollar 15 for other country users uh, and now you get a dotnet core projects dapper rest api angular entity framework ms test unit and unit dotnet blazer HTML, jQuery, CSS, SQL Server, and the React. So this is the full stack development course. I will provide you in just 800 rupees. Only one time fees uh, and get unlimited uh, course content. As well, uh, you just get a project based video tutorial. Each technology have two minimum projects and how to get this D. Guys, fill this form that is full stack development course uh, form your name, your email ID, your contact number. Uh, contact number is not necessary. Transaction reference ID, order ID or PayPal ID. If you are belong from India, just use uh, this uh, UPI ID. And if you are belong from other country, just use this UPI, uh, just use this QR code. And you can also use this, uh, my email ID, that is narinkumar gmail.com for the people. And just get the membership, okay? Uh, guys, uh, you find this uh, form link in your video description box. So must to check out your video description box and fill this form and get the membership. And this is not only a, a simple membership. I will provide you a complete roadmap of .NET Core. Okay, so hurry up, guys. Okay, so in this video tutorial, just I'm going to tell you about the utilities. And what about the utilities in uh, in your domain layer? So this one is the domain layer. Okay, just right click on your utilities and just uh, I want to add some list utilities first. So just create a new empty file and the class name is list utilities. Okay, so here we have a list utilities.cs file. List utilities, I mean to say that if you have a list suppose and you want to uh, convert it into uh, not if you want to check it not null uh, or empty list okay so first of all make it static okay now you can just use it uh, public the first function is that is utility so just i want to create a static function inside it here because the static class must have a static functions. So list of T, I mean to say that anything uh, you, you want to put it here as a T. So you can just put it uh, that is empty list. You want to check it. Empty list, the function name that is empty list. And you can just put it here. That is the T, okay, and oops. That is the T, and I want to uh, check it here. That is empty list. I want to check it. That is the empty list. Okay. Now return it. Return uh, new list of T, and this one. That is the empty list. Okay. So if you just call it empty list of any class, like uh, uh, if you want to know a person class or a user's class so just create a new empty list like that okay now uh, that is an example you can just call it empty list Oops. that is empty list of users that is the entity name that is user so you can just create it a empty list just calling it empty list of user then return it a object of the list of t type now the next one is to add that is not null or empty list public just check it not null or empty bool and that is not oops not null or 
empty of t uh, i mean to say that put it here that is the list type so this it's a you know that it's a uh, extension function so this is i list of t and that is the list so here uh, i received a list of items uh, i mean to say that you can just received a list of items and just call it list of uh, suppose you have a list like that uh, user is new user new list of user and if you find if you want to know uh, list is a I mean to say that a list users list so you can check it user list dot not null or empty like that so just return it back to the boolean type it is true or false so bool uh, flag flag value it depends on not null or empty so it received a list of items that is user list here so uh, it return it return that is list is not null and just check it list dot any any i mean to say that if you have any content in the list just return it to the true or must to check it is list is not null then it will return to the true and the false value now the next one is to check is null or empty is null uh, or empty not null or empty it's not null or empty it will return uh, list is not null that is true and list have any items that is list dot any and also check it uh, is null or empty so must check it public and it will return boolean also so bool is null or empty that is the type t and this list of t so it will return return list dot i mean to say that uh, it will return is null or empty so just check it list dot not null that is the same function not null or empty is false so it will return true or false so is false i mean to say that uh, list dot not null or empty is written to the false then you can say that it will return true okay so that's good now uh, i mean to say that if you your list is containing any items so you can check it public static bool and not contains and first of all i will give you an example of this one suppose your is null or empty uh, is null or empty i mean to say that you must to check it if is uh, if that is the user list so user dot sorry uh, that is the user list user list dot is null or empty is null or empty then it will return true or false okay so you can use this type of uh, function that is is null or empty if it is a list have uh, if you have list have any items then you can check it by using this function that is list is not null or list if have any items if your list have any item then it will return true okay and list is not null also so it will return true so it will return true then you can say that it will return true also that is list dot not null or empty i mean to say that it will return true so condition becomes false so is false i mean to say that condition becomes false so then return false okay so it's not a run at this time okay and the next one is contains if list have any items so you can just now check it by using this utility function 
public static bool not contains okay of value type t and this i list of list of t items okay so i want to uh, the t is the item here and t is also list okay so list is the value and t is the item so i mean to say that you can check it by using this return list dot contain list dot contains item is false okay so it will return boolean not contains i mean to say that it will return is false if it is false then it return true so it i mean to say that not contains now the next one is to contain duplicates what i mean to say that contain not contains that it, uh, it will return is false and not contains that is list dot contains items is false now uh, contains duplicates also so you can just return it public static of bool that is contains duplicate value so what about the duplicates value is that is i mean to say that the value is searching from here t is the input value and the t uh, t value is the output value or you can say that t type is the output value so this right now this is i list of uh, that is the t that is the list and next one is to add function here that is func and here i am going to add that is input value that is t and the next one is uh, t type that is the function that is the input and the output value here that is expression here you can see so what about this uh, its function or you can say that delegate it will return so you can just return it by using this return list dot group by so you can say that list dot group by and group by have an expression of the function that is the function that is expression here now i am going to uh, show you uh, the group by it's a uh, expression okay dot any if it is any then it will return it you have any items i mean to say that x tends to x dot count okay uh, is greater than one then it will return uh, items from greater than one then you can say that contain duplicates it will return it contain duplicates then you can just group by the expression and any that if you have any uh, records then it will return back to the uh, more than one items so that is the utility function and much more usable function in your shopping cart okay so if you want to use this in entire project so must to check uh, my membership details and easy to use uh, and easy to learn okay videos i will provide you in just 800 rupees or dollar 15 hurry up guys this is my so hurry up guys join this membership and get the professional code i not only a simple code i will provide you beginner to professional video code i will provide you okay uh, not only for beginners it also use intermediate level it also use advanced level users i mean to say that company users so i will provide you complete dotnet core roadmap in just 800 rupees so hurry up guys check your video description box and fill the form and get the membership